Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of My Time at Sandrock. I think today we should probably have a letter from Trudy about the summit with the schedule. Um, I think that's how today goes. I played this last, like this part of the game last on my um, other save like over a week ago at this point so it's a little fuzzy I know game you're thinking still um the game has been doing some weird things I'm you're gonna get stuck on this so um like when I'm loading in uh the screen in which it says like Oh, like, thank you for your support, blah, blah, blah. Like, this is our YouTube channel on that screen. It's been having a slight freeze. It's like, what's going on from Ma? Your pa and I... Try that again. Your pa and I will be arriving by train to Sand Rock the, the day after tomorrow. Okay. The day of the public ceremony and Big Wing Banquet. We heard about the Luna concert and think it's going to be a bit too loud for us. We'll see you then. Love you lots, Ma. Uh, dear Sand Rockers, Justice and I tested the airship, the SS, SS Sand Rock. Okay. Comma. Last night. Everything worked out out perfectly. Congratulations again to all the Commerce Guild builders, the botanists, and the researchers it should probably be the botanists, the researchers, and the engineers that worked on this project. You are our, all you all are literally the best and just in the nick of time too. The first day of the summit takes place tomorrow. Please check the enclosed schedule for more details. We will have a lot of events planned, including a performance from world famous Luna. Delegates and other visitors will be arriving tomorrow. I will be receiving them at various locations. If you see them wandering around, be sure to give them a sand rock howdy do. Um, coop. Okay, so we will empty the pockets and look at our schedule. So day one, so this will be, um, no, that's the wrong button. That will be this day. I saw I was right. So our parents then will be coming on this day and then the final day would be this day. Okay. Hmm. We'll have to, I'll have to think about how to plan that. Um, so we have Morrow Square, Money Manners by Musa, How to Green Your Desert by Zeke. You do get little um, orange circles for these. I did not get one for this one. When I played this, the Ged Talk, Dating Advice for Single Moles, I did not get that one. Um, yeah. So I'll keep an eye out for that. Some of these are voiced, some of them are not. Um, this is like a tie into Project Me. Um, the Battle of Sandrock. The um, the fireworks in my other save did not work. So it will just be this. Um, and then this. Yeah, the, this you don't see, so you can pretty much ignore this little side. And then the banquet is well this is like a something in front of city hall and then the banquet is right after that and that's pretty much all that is happens on that day um i would keep the schedule on you because you, i did reference it a lot it is a helpful thing to have um some people might have things to say to us i'm going to try to get some things because it like I said it getting it all on the day of the summit is actually really overwhelming um it's a lot of reading um that like I still do apologize for yesterday's episode because I just it was a kind of a proper rant I would say it was a proper rant but there's that's one of the things that I just kind of like Yeah, um, our parents visiting is also a thing that is a little lackluster. 
I guess it's better if um, you are married. I did not, I was not married to Logan when, um, in my other save when I did it, because I went back um, so that my save was still just dating him for when the final release comes so I can be sure to get his marriage proposal because I'm still dead certain he's going to have fun. I don't know. Oh, let's see. Does he have it? Oh, oh, this is quite the shindig. Hey, Lexi, the water is flowing like wine. Yeah, so these are the, all their lines. So I'm going to try to break them up a little bit. Okay, are you ready for this one? This is a once in a lifetime thing that happened to that uh, is that's about to happen. I'm right to let loose like never before. All right, ready? Okay, here we go. Ahem. Don't conserve water. Don't drink as much as you want. Go crazy. Oof. You know, actually, that sounds bad. Let's try again. Walk that back a little. Ahem. Conserve water a little. Drink a little more, a little bit more than you would normally. Just don't spill. Whew. What? So like every character, for the most part, will have something to say to you. Some of them are more touching. Some of them are what Burgess just said. Look to Vivi. Hey there. Oh, you're all grown up now, Lexi. I say, I was going to say, I feel old, but all things considered, you really have gotten a lot done in a pretty short period of time. You all undid... How many years of damage? That's nothing to sniff at. They should put your picture on a cereal box. You're a, a fine role model, although is it misleading to put you on a cereal box? That implies that if people eat that cereal, they could be like you. And do you even eat cereal? Actually, I don't. Um, well, I don't doubt that somehow your story will get out there with or without the cereal box. Aww. See you. Um... Yeah, I think I'm just going to kind of get, just kind of break up the lines a little bit. I might ignore some people today. Oh, almost brings a tear to my eye seeing the saloon like this. Should I try out some new material in front of the delegates? No, no. Better stick with the classics. Or stick to the classics. I'll do the brave little Bumbleland. That one always kills. Uh, I just kind of realized everything in this town has changed so much since you got here, but the blue moon has pretty much always been the same. I should have commissioned more stuff. I mean, obviously, it's not too late or anything, just Katori got her own theme park, so I kind of feel left out. Oh well, could have been worse. Besides, maybe it's just a good thing. It's a good thing. The blue moon was always here, exactly the way you remembered it. An anchor, a beacon of familiarity where you could rest, relax, recharge, and get fired up to get back out there and build like no one else, no one's ever built before. Yeah, sometimes I think you need a place that doesn't change. That's my promise to you then. No matter where, no matter where your adventures take you, you can always come back. It's the same old blue moon. I'll be right here waiting. Oh, he has a lot to say. Oh my gosh. So this is where what one legendary blue moon parties really look like. Hmm? been how many years since the last one so yeah that's supposed to be at the banquet Thank you. so some of them kind of don't you need to be in the context of the banquet <laughs> so that's like the slight bummer of getting them early yeah. i need to give you i next time i play this i need to give him more stuff i feel bad for sir captain Okay, um, yeah, so the day you get the letter is the day that the, everyone has their line interest. Okay, here's Logan. He likes to get caught on the shrub. Yeah, he got caught and then teleported. Like this shrub, you'll just see him like walking like that into the shrub. And then all of a sudden he magically normally teleports out to the desert. Yeah, he teleports out to the desert. <laughs> yeah, they definitely need to work on their pathing. Let's go see how our stuff is doing. Ryan. Hey, Alexa, guess what? I was five minutes early for this party. For the first time in my life, I know what it's like to be on time. It was five minutes before other people started showing up were brutal, though. I gotta say, I just kind of stood... Hey, Sandy. Stood there, looked around a bit, and said hi to one of the cats. 
But uh, yeah, I think you definitely played a part in getting me to turn myself around. Well, maybe turn around is a bit of an overstatement, but I went back from being a block of wood to an unoffensively average member of society. Big ups. So I want you to know that whenever I leave the window open and the gentle breeze creeps and the whistles across and creeps in to whistle across my carpentry, I always hear your name whispering through the knot holes. Lexi. A little creepy, but I'll get you later. For legend grows, being building human. Strength such as yours shall go down in history. Yes, I have been saving that one for a while. Okay. Um, we'll go get our things. I don't really know what to do with today because it's such a weird. I did the wrong thing. It is a kind of a weird day in this game, so I, I don't really know what to do. Like I might call it early, I don't know. The fact that I just did the wrong order didn't help. Um. Well, guys, I gotta go get other people's things. Like I said, it does sound better within the context of the banquet, but like I said, it's a lot of reading. <laughs> go get cheese. Hey there. Yes, yes. Hello, Lexi. Sorry, I can't be of higher in a higher spirit. Attendance to, these, to this event was mandatory. They only let me display the mobile suit for 30 seconds. Can you believe that? And I am further required to explain our discoveries to these politicians who do not possess the prerequisite knowledge necessary to truly appreciate our said discoveries. They couldn't even be bothered to read my summaries. I even got down to 600 pages. Well, this is part of the show, as they say. If we must go through these meaningless motions to continue to receive funding from these establishments, then I say so be it. Here's a fun game to play. Use the word the dendrogram, dendrogram, improperly as many times as you can in a sentence and see how long it takes for them to pick up on it. My record is seven. Hmm, you're worried that the, this airship might not be the last project we work on together? Why, that's nonsense. Utter the dendro dendrogram. I could, I could never ask for a better builder to manifest my designs. And may I remind you, I still haven't gotten the advanced mobile suit that I've been asking for. <laughs> my friend Mint used to ask to borrow my notes back in grade school, so I'd always handwrite a second copy, but with a couple of details slightly manipulated before complying, so as to ensure that he would not surpass my school. <laughs> All went according to plan. Uh, never change. So long. Never change. Um, I thought I saw a me in around here. I don't know if she has anything to say to us. I would think she would. Hi. Wow, I can't believe it. It's really almost over. I mean, not over over, but there's not much left for us to build in this town. We really did it. Remember when I told I told you I hoped we'd take Samurai back to its glory days? <clears throat> not to give myself too much credit, I mean, I think it's safe to say you were the star of the show. But I do want to say that I enjoyed being here with you every step of the way. Well, don't let me keep you from the party. I'm sure everyone's dying to meet ya. Catch you later. She really thinks she did spectacular things, but... We are in month four of year two. And I'm beating her by 40,000 of them. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> kind of funny. Okay. Okay. 
I, tr I truly messed up. I do not need this at all. Um, I guess we'll go turn this in because I think it's a different person. I think he still wants an engine. Oh, you're talking to me. Hi, I, I just figured, well, this party is kind of a celebration of your achievements. And well, I'm that train guy. I've always had great admiration for you, for you and not just from what the time when you tuned up the station, just about everything you did in this town, I thought was really swell. I don't always ex always know exactly what you were up to. I mean, if I'm on the platform, I'll see you going out, coming home, and sometimes keep being carried home. It's a strange feeling having a window into the life of a great person. But I consider myself lucky, uh, myself lucky for having the chance to know you. Just know you'll always have a first class ticket. Uh, so long, partner. Yeah, it's really sweet. <laughs> Let's see, there it is still. Do I want to know what you have? Oh, he doesn't. Oh, yeah, he just doesn't have one. Ooh. That was a was a boost and then some. They still have the bounce bug. That that is still a thing. Um I don't like I said I don't know what to do with today because there's a burgess standing in front of our house. Um Oh he was looking at of all things for you to look at, sir. Go to, I think this is Rocky. Yeah, and my other save, I think I said that I, I never got the quest with all those people. I think they pulled it with the update. I'm trying to record the end of this. See, we'll talk to Larry. Um, now I know we put our past behind us, but making a good impression on these leader humans wouldn't be the first step you could take towards complete and utter world domination. Mwahaha. For you, I've given on, up on that particular dream. I still think he wants to do world domination. Mint is walking into that. That's wonderful. Yeah, the uh, the little statues are really screwing up people's pathing, I've noticed. Howdy. Yo, Lexi, pretty crazy, huh? We didn't exactly get off on the right foot. I think first time we met, I was yelling at Yan, yelling old Yan up the wall. Thanks for giving me another chance. I, a lot, I'm a lot less mad about stuff these days. You know, the art therapy helped, but uh, main factor was definitely kicking that sorry mop stick out of town oh sorry not sorry i mean i gotta admit i really feel that's what the, they tell me anyway it's been a pleasure to know you honor and a privilege and all that uh there's a lot of stuff that people down in the world wait there's a lot of people that i need to mm, i keep i always skip a word okay there's a lot of stuff that brings people down in this world but uh People like you, you fill us with hope, you know? So keep doing what you're doing. It means a lot to everyone. Thank you, Rock. <laughs> Still the creepiest laugh. Well. Might go get... Give Andy a gift. Like I said, some people I am going to wait for the banquet. Um, we've gotten a nice handful of people. Might go... Peach is the most famous person in the world. 
I was going to give him a gift. Oh, he doesn't... I think we already technically got his line, but I thought he had something else to say. That may have already been his line about the airship, but I thought he had one more, but I could be wrong. In my other save, he did, but I'm also better friends with him in the other save. He's like my best friend forever. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I have noticed in a lot of, there's a justice just walking here. Yeah, I think the Trudy bug, there's a bug at the end that Trudy will be stuck in there. That is still a thing. I'm looking forward to our airship ride tomorrow morning. That's the wrong day, but uh, sure. Silk scarf. See ya. Okay. Yeah, that's the... So, yeah. So, these are all supposed to be banquet lines. So, they are definitely... Rocking on the wrong day. Ooh, if I needed to sell, now is the time. Yeah, so these should be rocking on the day of the banquet. Howdy. Thank you. Yeah, so they should be. So this will be the banquet day. So that's the day they should be procking. Interesting. An Arvio here can get him out of the way. So mean. <laughs> wow, the celebration is amazing. Hey, this is just like one of those old pictures of Owen when this town used to be lively. And wait a second, did you bring the bring back the glory days of Sandrock? Oh, I can imagine in about another 50 years, there will be a picture of this party on the wall somewhere. I guess I'd like to congratulate you. I hope that my actions helped more than harmed along the way, but to think I was here to witness this. See ya. You witnessed it, but you also capitalize off the suffering of other people. Keep that in mind, sir. So I forgot what event it was that he was trying to sell shirts to, or like, well, when Matilda got kidnapped, kidnapped in bunny quotes um he tried to make money off of selling pitchforks and what else did he try to do i don't know even though he goes through his whole like maturing thing he's still one of the more annoying characters like you try to like him but It's really hard to, it's like so hard to like him. Um, yeah, it's very difficult to like him. Well, I definitely think in this game they did, I guess when you compare it to Portia, they did do a better job of making the characters more well-rounded. And I guess that would be the difference between the two games, really, other than like the improvements that they made, blah, blah, blah all that type of stuff. But it's like the characters are definitely more well-rounded. Um, whereas like Portia, there was never really anyone who were like, oh, I don't like that person or that one got annoying because they all were very kind of bland in their own way. They had personalities, they had quirks, but they weren't as developed as they were in this game. Which is something that I do hope that they carry over to the next game is that same level of detail that they brought to the characters. If that makes sense. Okay, I guess we'll talk to Crystal because she's here. I'm really just trying to break up the lines so that they're on different episodes because this is a lot of reading. Um, hey, random thing. Thanks for getting rid of Yan. 
<laughs> I know it comes up still from time to time, but I think I still think you never get enough credit for that. I don't want to bring down the vibe here or nothing, but man, I hated that guy. If I'm being honest, I do always keep an eye on that twin brother of his. I'm sh I mean, sure, he seems nice. He really's done nothing at all that makes me suspect him of faking it in the slightest, but somewhere deep down in there, he's got this evil gene slumbering, waiting to for a chance to awaken. So I would assume I'm or so I would assume. I'm not a doctor. Anyway, wicked potty. Always who just appeared there? Wanted to get on that airship, but I reckon you and the VIPs got first dibs. No worry, you all have fun up there. See ya! Oh, unsure. Was it unsure? I think it was unsure. I am unsure if it was unsure. Um. In my other save, the only person who has nothing to say is Miguel. That was the only person who truly had nothing to say. I'm trying to think anyone else close. We can go say hi to a Logan. Like, Trudy doesn't really have a line. She has a whole thing. I want to, I want to know what his speech bubble is supposed to say, because when they do that, they all have a speech bubble. Probably sounds like a broken record, but wish my pa was was here to see this. It would have been it 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 would have been it have been. That's like the biggest contraction I think I've ever seen. Been hard for him, for anyone to imagine things could end up like this. I'm gonna be, if I'm honest, it's all seemed pretty bleak there for a time. So whatever he, wherever he is, I hope, or hope we got to surprise him one last time. Reckon now, just gotta keep our eyes pointed towards the future. Can't bring back what we lost, but we can rebuild. You're the one who showed me that. Having you around gives me hope. Well, I would hope so, being that I will be marrying you. Huh. So here's to hope and here's to you. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. I do wish I could remove that piece of armor. I get it, it's from Andy, but I do wish I could remove it. Yeah, but Trudy's Trudy doesn't really have one. Like I think I was saying, it's she has a whole like cut scene. So with that, I think I think we're just gonna go to bed. I got a nice chunk of dialogues from people. I did all my commissions. I did. Let's get this summit. You know, we get yoinked out of bed a lot in the end here. <sighs> All the delicates, the familiar faces. It's thinking. My plane is bigger. <laughs> Hello, Avery. <laughs> it's Gail and oh. Albert. Bright and early. I was just about to check our fine associates here into the blue moon before heading to City Hall for the big summit meeting. Hi, hello. Greetings. They're all quite excited to meet with you and everyone else, but we need to take care of a bit of business first. In the meantime, 
Why don't you check around town? We have speakers in Marble Square and on both of the Blue Moon stages all day, covering a variety of topics. I sent to everyone an event schedule by mail. Check your mailbox if you haven't already. I'm a bit miffed myself, having to miss out on Moose's talk about money management. <sighs> but perhaps you can fill me in. Later on in the evening, we'll finish our summit and all head over to Luna's performance on the Blue Moon stage, followed by a fireworks show. Then, tomorrow, we'll announce the results of the summit, followed by a huge banquet in the Blue Moon to celebrate, rounding it all off with the maiden voyage of our airship on the morning after. Here, Trudy. Daylight's wasting. <laughs> Shall we? Uh, just a moment. I need to meet with... Hello, Sandrock! Miss Luna! So wonderful to finally make your acquaintance. The pleasure's all mine, ma'am. <laughs> Where shall I put my things? Uh, what is <laughs> all of that? <laughs> Only the essentials, Miss Mayor. Makeup, wardrobe, microphones, cables, pyrotechnics. But don't worry, my delightful roadies are here to take care of everything. They're the best. Say hi, guys. Hiya. Yo. <laughs> I like how those were floating. Oh, hello. Well, if you're sure you've got it, I'm sure Owen can make room somewhere in the blue moon. Please, Ms. Mayor, we're professionals. You just sit back, relax, and leave the entertainment to us. Yes, yes, of course. Thank you, Miss Luna. I'll just go with our other guests then. See you after the summit. And enjoy yourself. You've earned it. Okay. Hey, hi, I'm Luna. And I'm Lexi, the the Luna Superstar. No. Oh, I know who you are. You're one of the heroes of Sandrock. If you were dating Ernest, this scene is a lot longer. You know my brother, right? Seen him around at least, right? Got pen in hand, nose always buried in a book. He's supposed to be here as a matter of fact. Luna! I don't know what happened to his voice, but he feel, sounds like he is in a tunnel on a cell phone. Yeah. There you are. There's my big brother. What happened? You said you were just coming for a visit, and now you live here? Well, you know me. I change my mind about as often as you change your hair color. It's his voice, and I think it's Owen's voice that are like this. Oh, come on. I change my hair way more. No, I missed you so much. I missed you too. Right. Is everything okay at home? Home? I haven't been back in a long time. I've been doing shows down south. But I read in the newspaper that Ma won another singing award and Pa's newspaper is getting bigger. I love it here. Everywhere is sand and cactus. It's just so wildernessy. And you, Ernie, is everything okay here? <laughs> yes, I kind of felt the same way. But it's rare to hear that from you. Everything is good for me here. I've made a lot of friends and even gotten more inspiration. I've just been talking with your friend here. So this is the five-star builder you told me about? M6. That's right. My friend is now famous throughout the whole alliance. I did build an airship. I'll that was say. Six. And hmm. Sandrock is also becoming more and more famous within the alliance. I'll have to book more shows here in the future. So, you're headlining the summit? I'm looking forward to it. Let's see if you'll make the same mistake as last time and sing the wrong lyrics like you did at Atara Fest. You... There's no way I'd make the same mistake twice. Just wait. I'll give the most perfect performance of my life in Sandrock. Sorry, I have to go rehearse now. Nice to meet you. I'd better help I'm my sorry. sister out. Enjoy the summit. Okay. Oh, look at Coco. So cute. So, nine o'clock is Musa. I do kind of think you have time to go to both. So you just keep paying attention to the circles. Those are like story missions or like little scenes, scenes of the town, some of them. 
Mile Ivory, I know you'd rather be back at headquarters, but everyone's here to welcome us. If only General Ling hadn't insisted that I join the summit. Hey, you've been to Sand Rock before. I'm sure you're missed here. It's true, where have you been, Avery? Um, I'm just so sure about that. I'm not, oh, I'm not so sure about uh, that. Oh, he was missed. Glad to see you again, Builder. This is my colleague, Mr. Gowdy. Who would say that about Avery? I mean, I get it, he's a little cold, but who would say that about him? You must be the Builder everyone's been talking about. The pleasure is all mine. I can't wait to see what you've accomplished in Sandrock. Mr. Gowdy is our chief engineering consultant, a very capable builder himself. He's working with us on the planning of the North Development Plan at the Borders. We're lucky to have his help. I'm sure you'll have a lot to discuss. Yes. And here's Avery, trying to shrug me off and secretly plotting his revenge against Duvos. Sorry, but Benty just literally, like, you know, if you saw her shadow, she's like, I'm sure just down. I only have the safety of the Alliance in mind. That's <laughs> funny. I often have to remind this guy that the whole point of the development plan is to keep the peace for as long and as wide as possible. That's why we're focused on bringing in talented people and resources to those areas. While everything is in the early stages, it presents a fantastic opportunity for someone like you to become a settlement governor if you join the plan. They oversee the design and development of an entire town, going beyond the limits of a workshop yard. Yeah, this is essentially like a little mini promo for Project Me. Absolutely. It's hard work, but in an exciting way. I'm looking forward to sharing our progress with other representatives at the summit and getting their input on our next steps. Or we could discuss with the reps of the possibility of forming a fast response plan in case Duvos ever plots another move. In any case, it was good seeing you again. And an honor to meet you as well. I'm sure we'll see plenty more of each other tomorrow at the banquet. Mm -hmm. Till then. Until then. So you can talk to people. Here's Master Verna. Hope you'll think of my offer, about my offer. And hey, if you're ever in town, just look me up. I'm sure we can work something out. You'll have fun, I promise. Where's your pig? I wanted to see the pet pig. Hello. Hmm. I have the strangest feeling. Like we met before. But that's impossible, mm -hmm. right? In any case. We in Portia have heard all about you. Let's catch up after the summit is finished, and we can all relax. I don't know how I feel about his different voice. It's a good voice actor, but it's not Gale. Ah, the excellent builder of Sandrock. You are a fine reminder to us tall sky builders not to rest on our laurels. We'll have to talk shop when we all get a moment. That is 100% Burgess's voice. Ah, there she has something to say. We'll talk to Ling. Ah, you must be the builder. Greetings. I have been told you fought bravely every step of the way. I hope to sit down and exchange war stories after this meeting has concluded. That sounds like, um... The general. Well, Lexi, I'm certainly glad you all managed to change my mind about this place. I stand by my original assessment. Most of the folk around here are, let's say, unconventional, but you all got the job done and then some. There's one thing I've always been, I was always curious about. How exactly did you manage to, er, you know what? Sometimes it's better not to know how the sausage is made. You know, I really wouldn't mind sitting in on a fashion seminar hosted by Mr. Pablo. Okay. Don't think of God, he has any more to say. From your resume, you definitely have what it takes to be a governor in the Northern Settlements. It seems your work here is almost done. Perhaps you should really consider it. It is almost done, and I'm a little sad. The opportunity to share knowledge like this is something that should occur more than once every five years. After all, knowledge is half the battle. I wonder if they will ever in any of the games make Avery romanceable. Part of me hopes they don't. Is this really a sand rock? Wow. Nothing like how I remember it. I wasn't thrilled to be traveling so far for the summer this year, but now I can see it was worth it. That's like the, in the office when Michael does the whole thing like there's a motor in Savannah. Oh, 
It's good to see you again. You've made us all very proud. I've been told your parents are coming to visit tomorrow. You must be so excited. I am. Yeah. Even air travel takes it out of you, doesn't it? All I did was sit there and somehow I'm exhausted. You must be the builder. Once this summit is over, I'd love to get more acquainted. Yeah. Nope. Even air I know I already talked to you. I want to talk to her. Ah, you're the builder who famously managed to work with Chi without throwing him out of a five-story window. You must be every bit as good as they say you are. Let's chat more at the banquet. This is kind of what I expected a person from Vega 5 to dress like. So to me, being that these were the city-states who are here, I'm going to put my Sims 4 tinfoil hat on. So we got High Wind, Lucian, we got Walnut Groove, and Vega 5. They already said Vega 5 is not going to be the next game. So to me, it's going to be amongst those three. And you're kind of confirming it because you have Northern Development Plan people there. I think that guy is from Atara, right? I forgot where Ling is or I forget where Ling is from. Oh, well, you have Gustav from High Wind. So to me, those are like the finalists of where the next game's gonna be. Oh, but this is starting. So this doesn't do much, so I'm gonna go to Geds instead. Some of these are voiced, some of them are not. Most of the ones I think on the stage are not, like the outdoor. Oh, this is, this is funny. They give Cooper the microphone all day. Burgess is a little confused. Okay, so we're gonna go in and think to see. Yeah, if you have holidays and stuff, um, they'll just do their normal thing. It's actually a little bit of a bummer. Yeah, Geds does not show up at all for me. I don't think his are voiced either. Hello out there to all of my moles and molettes, and welcome to my Ged talk. I am here today to tell you all that our prince about all mm, tell you all that our prince and princess is out there somewhere waiting for you. It might not be just who you think it is. And yes, and how did it did that turn out for you? Ha ha! Heartbreak, loss of a friend, a downward spiral of bitterness and regret. A feeling that perhaps you could never love again. Oh, and after you shoot, you're shot and get shot down. Wow, that is, that is hard to say. You have to see them every single day, pretend like everything is fine, when both of you know that it just totally isn't, and whew, talk, talk about awkward. Well, I'm here to offer you a bit of advice. Do I care about this yes day? I love that the kids are here. The thing you must do, mustn't do, is blame yourself. Alas, I am rejected. There must be something wrong with me, something I do not see. It's like all the people who Logan keeps rejecting in their marriage. <laughs> He's still doing that, I guess. No, no, they're saying that if you don't cheat on him or like have any other relationships, he's more likely to say yes. Sorry, that was a little side note. But on the other hand, you can't blame your crush either. I'm charming, I'm lovely, I'm so good at digging holes. What kind of stupid princess would reject moi? No, no, no. Even the best of moles are rejected. You, did you choose to fall in love with your friend? No, it simply happened. You never had a choice. And when you feel no love for another, alas, this is no choice either. So you must see that th some things in life there is really no rhyme or reason to. They just are. You can logic your way into loving someone loving you. If you find it too difficult to meet with your friend, if obsessive thoughts cross your mind, if you feel jealousy or hope that somehow maybe they are starting to change their mind and you just need to try a little harder, then I am afraid to say you would do best to stay away from your friend for a while. Trying to always be there will only make things worse for the both of you. You must pretend sometimes. Oh, when you must, excuse me, I don't even know where I got any of that from. You must spend time with others that you love. 
but those that do not spark that madness of passion. Shout out to my Molly Gatsby who helped me through the darkest of times. No problem, bro. After spending a bit of time at home doing some self-care, we got out, started hanging with some moles outside our usual kingdom group, and, well, I met someone. You're doing great, babe. <laughs> Thank you, Gadina. We met at an underground part party. I was like, I'm Ged, and she was like, I'm Gadina. And we were like, no way, that's a huge coincidence. And the rest is history. So, if it can happen to me, it can happen to you too. Thank you for coming to my Ged Talk. Where's Gadina? No! Is Gadina even real? I don't think Gadina is real. I think he made her up. <laughs> but that's funny. Um, Andy, I have a gift for you. Oh, they're running to school. Ah, I'm never going to catch him. Oh, I did. Awesome. This is so cool. I may have to make him more of those. Mm. Yeah, you grew a millimeter. Take her easy. Okay. Yeah, this they, they literally give Coop the microphone all day. It's kind of funny. They want us to be the opening act for Luna. I said, sure. Instrument? Who said that? Us uh, and Rock with well shucks. There's some the of us welcome folks on the planet. Just as long as you stay of off darkness. our property. Hey, now I know that y'all didn't come out here just to see me, so I'll keep it brief. Oh, and now he's going on about rutabagas. I am leaving. <laughs> I just love it. He literally is there the whole day. Uh, where is it? Blue Moon Exterior. Sure, I'll, I'll fill up some time by Cooper. 9 a.m. to 9 to 7 o'clock. <laughs> Which is, it's nice because you don't have to worry about going there. I think they are technically supposed to go inside, but they don't. We'll talk to you. Excelsior, here, here, to the greatest commerce guild in the free cities. No, the world. Ha ha. Never have I pitied my brother more than now, Lexi. We had all the potential at this at, at his fingertips. Builders like you and me and, and in the same guild at the same time, unheard of. And he squandered at all it all. I'd write him to rub it in his face, but well, he has no sense of shame. It'd be a waste of ink. Bah, let's not waste this moment dwelling on shadows of the past. To the future, Lex Lexi, to the future. I wish I got to know you better, sir. Hey there. My sister is really pleasantly surprised by Sandrock. She'd heard some rumors, some of the which were written by me. But in my defense, I wrote letters to her containing less than high less than the highest of praises, only because you'd just gotten started on your journey to rebuild this town. At this point, if anyone who prints a single word disses San dissing Sandrock, well, I hope their editor gives them a serious talking to. My only regret in being here to my only regret in being here to see you revitalize Sandrock is that I fear my hand will never pen such poetry that is you striking with a pick hammer. But of course, that'll never stop me from trying. Who do you? Yeah, so this one is nothing. So the next one we are interested in is probably this. Um, we will make a point to go to this one just because of some of the people who attend are kind of funny. So yeah, so this day, it is a little bit of standing around. It is what it is. Hey there. You know, this is going to sound kind of crazy, but sometimes I feel like you've become a different person altogether. I mean, in a good way. Like, we we were just a couple of dumb kids, and now now we've got jobs and stuff. You're a real professional, best of the best. Do you ever feel, feel like running into the forest and knocking over beehives anymore? I do. I think I do. Maybe less than back then, but still a little. I guess we're both getting older, more mature. Why do you want to knock over beehives? Anyway, there are more th important things than, get than beehives. 
But even if things are a little different now, there's one thing I know will never change. You'll always be my number one. That feeling hasn't changed a bit. Thank you, Mia. But don't call me stupid, because you do like to do that. Okay. Um, the next speaker here is Zeke. Which really, like I said, it's just, it's the same thing here, little speech bubbles. So we will probably go down to the blue moon again. Hmm, standing around at this party kind of makes me realize you were the golden goose all along. Yeah, you're my lucky charm. I mean, come on. Try to explain it any other way. Everything was going south for me up, all up until the moment you stepped off that train. My business was going under and now I'm a regular tycoon. Well, just wanted to let you know that I appreciate everything, not just all you've done for me, but for everyone in town. You really are an inspiration. Thank you, Katori. Catch you later. Lately on the Discord, there's been a decent amount of hate towards her. Like about how she essentially abandoned her kid for this for this place without me. Um there's another scene over here. Like, there's been a lot of hate about how selfish she is, which I get. Mr. Musa. You're that young man. I remember now our previous conversation. In fact, I wanted to congratulate you. Congratulate me? Yes, obviously, you took all my words to heart. Not long ago, your general store appeared on the first page of my assistant's Emerging Businesses Hot or Not list. You, as it were, <laughs> were hot. This indicates that, by various measures, your store is performing well, and your market share is steadily rising. That's right, Mr. Musa! After that, I did everything you suggested, and I started to try to have more foresight. And, I guess you could say, it worked like a charm! So, thanks! No, young man. You should thank yourself. I see the changes in you, and no man is an island. I don't doubt that there are more people in your life other than myself who pushed you to be better you. Yes! The Builder has also helped me a lot. <laughs> Indeed. The impact Builders can make on this world is huge. I believe that with young people like you and Sam, development can only get better and better. Thank you, Mr. Musa. So, will you invest in me this time? <laughs> of course. I'll have my assistant get in touch with you. That's great! Did you hear that? I'm finally getting an investment from Mr. Musa! Good for you, RBO. Um... We have a little bit of a break. Um... I might show... Uh, this part and I actually might end the episode because this is already getting long and we're only like halfway through the day that's what I think I'm gonna do because the banquet is as long or as short as you want it to be actually um so yeah I think we're gonna see this next discussion and then I'm gonna end the episode mainly because I need to go make tea because my voice is really hurting from reading so much and I don't even think I'm halfway <laughs> and I could just not read it I don't know that kind of seems like it kind of seems like cheaping out on it a little bit I think this is just for the Zeke cutscene here yeah just Oh, and of course. Um, but about as why is adding your salt to the fertilizer? Yes, yeah, so this is just all about. Oh, there's Mort. Mort comes to this one. Actually, just Mort. Is Mort even at the banquet? We'll talk to Mort, and then we'll go to the other thing. There will be times when the wind and the waves will be will be brick will be braved and when the cloud sail will be lifted and the sea will be shaken some ships sink only leagues from the shore but thousands of vessels should one day sail to and fro over the shipwrecks flowers wilt but new buds bloom just behind them it has been my honor to sink so that others could swim you have a slightly depressing view of the world sir 
And he got a, like it sets his perspective because Sandrock was sinking when he was in his youth or younger days when he was a young lad. Hello, everyone. Thank you all for joining me today. I'm Gowdy, a member of the planning committee for the North Development Plan. So I've been noticing that Fang looks different. And it's taken me a while to figure it out. So I'm like, why, what is different about him? What is different about him? Because he's no longer holding onto his bag. I think that's what it is. Because he normally had his bag shifted just a little bit to the side. I think that's what it is. Today, I'll be giving you an exciting update on our North Development Plan. Executed by the Northern Rangers and supported by the visionary businessman, Musa. Sorry, I just kind of noticed that now that, because I'm so used to, I don't know, anyway, I just kind of noticed that now. I heard Musa already mention the plan during one of his visits to Sandrock. For those who missed it, don't worry. I'll catch you up quickly. Do I care about this? The yesterday? topic is building for peace, where I'll take you through our settlement expansion plan along the northern borders of the Alliance. It's all about securing the area and fortifying our defenses. The topic oh he repeats it. There's a this happens a lot in We're this currently one. constructing the first few settlements with plans for a new bustling border city state that will serve as a regional transportation, commercial, and defense hub. Now, if you're an adventurous soul or an entrepreneurial spirit, the North Development Plan is your golden ticket to realizing your dreams. We're searching for all kinds of talents. Whether you're already skilled in a trade or still searching for your true calling. If you're open to exploring different possibilities, you're exactly the person we're seeking. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention. Those selected to join the plan will receive an initiation bonus to help them settle down and start afresh. Let's take a breather and grab some refreshments. I'll be available to answer any questions or hear your brilliant ideas. This party, I would not have come if not for you. This town never meant much to me. I just liked the weather. You made it into something meaningful, worth fighting for. Just look at all these happy people. They're here to celebrate what you and your friends did. You should be proud. Thank you, Fang. Gift for you. Thoughtful. You don't need it though. Gaudy. Mm, I missed him. Does he have any other lines or is it just the same? I waited too quickly. Or no, I didn't wait enough. There we go. From your resume. You yeah, did. we already heard this. Alrighty. I think with that I'm going to end the episode. Um, so we will end with half of the day done of the summit, the first day of the summit. Uh next episode we will have Luna's concert. We will have another speaker in here. We will have another speaker up there. And tomorrow, the next episode will probably also be the banquet because I've gotten about half the line. So that's a, probably going to be a decent length episode. And then the final episode will be the airship ride. So there, that's kind of like the next two episodes after this. And we'll be done. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode of my time at Sandrock. Uh, take care of yourselves and bye for now. <laughs>